What is up guys and girls, my name is YDH and we got the new year coming tomorrow and I was going to be doing a live stream tonight on Twitch. Um, still, as I can see, it's going to be going ahead as long as I can fix this issue that I've got at the moment. I actually did test the stream out yesterday for the PlayStation 4 to see if it was working properly and we did actually get quite a good stream going. I set up Knack and uh, I'm not too good at Knack but I got some good advice for some, you know, from some people that were in the stream. We had a bit of questions. We were talking about the Xbox One and the PS4. We basically just had a talk. They sent me questions and I answered them really. But the thing I wanted to talk to you guys today is about some PS4 updates that I've came across and I thought were really interesting. So, you know, like I said, we're coming into the new year and obviously we're going to be getting a whole new load of stuff for the PlayStation 4, including Gaikai, which is this cloud service which allows you to actually stream games. I remember when this was originally on the PC, you could go on and instead of actually having to use your own system to play the game, you'd be streaming it off the internet so you wouldn't be getting any lag at all and you could play big blockbuster games huge out there and you know it'd just be really good the only thing is it would rely on your internet which would be a main factor if it wasn't too good but uh, I have came across some updates for the oculus rift now if some of you don't know what the oculus rift is it's a interactive headset that actually goes over your head and uh, it tracks the movement of your head so if you were to look a certain way in you know real life it would turn that correct and accurate amount of degrees on the screen so everything is fully accurate calibrated to your actual movement which I think is really cool we got some advanced technology coming in and the good thing is it's going to be supporting uh, PlayStation 4 so the PlayStation 4 can support this oculus rift which I think is really good that the PlayStation 4 isn't just going to be supporting what it's got now. There is compatibility for future technology, which is, you know, insane. And talking about the new uh, controller, the share button on the PS4 has been used 6.5 million times already. Now, when this was newly introduced to the controller, the share button, everyone was thinking, uh, am I really going to need to be using that share button? And surprisingly, I think most people have tried it out, if not... If, you know, they're not too keen on streaming, I think that they've definitely, you know, had a play with it just to see what it does. And it is really interesting. You've got that huge stream, uh, you know, you've got that stream place on the PS4 where you can jump in, watch people play. You don't even have to go on Twitch, just jump into that room and, uh, you know, can watch other people stream comments, which I think, you know, it's really good that live streaming is actually influenced on the next gen i think live streaming is going to be the new thing you know especially with youtube making all of its mistakes i think that live streaming especially on twitch will be taking over soon and of course it will never take over youtube fully but you know it is definitely coming up in the ranks and you know to see that it's being influenced in the games is also really good so i think that is more or less what i had to talk about to you um about what I saw which was most interesting so remember that the shadow kill free yeah kill zone shadow full free multiplayer uh, is going to actually be ending today so I think if it's ending today you still can get it I think just after today you can't get it so if you're a PlayStation Plus member head on to the store get your kill zone shadow shadow full free multiplayer I can't talk today, but yeah, make sure you download that. Take advantage of the PlayStation Plus and the PlayStation Nation. Anyway, I'll catch.